guys, so my name is Hilary William. I'm the owner of William Massage and Skincare, and today I wanted to make a video of how to wear sunscreens without issues uh, like peeling, oily skin, clogged pores, or not enough coverage. So the key is really picking the sunscreen that is good for your skin type. Do you have dry skin, oily skin, normal, fair, dark? So there's different types of sunscreen. There are creams, you know, there are SPF, different SPFs, you know, 30, 25, 50, even like 100. For face, I try to go with a professional brand sunscreens. Um, you know there are spray ones for usually for the body the spray ones for the body I can go with maybe like less expensive brand but I don't really I'm not at the pool that much so I don't really usually put on but if I do need to put on my body out, like outside I'll use usually those uh, or and there's like powder mineral sunscreens which are really um, convenient to um, touch up you know anytime during the day so I usually love those for that because like if you wear makeup you can't really touch up with like a cream sunscreen you know maybe just powder or I mean a spray an option too depends what kind of spray like how thick it sprays and if it has any tint to it um, I wouldn't spray those uh, drugstore brand sunscreens but so there are sunscreens different thickness, you know, a lot of brands make weightless sunscreens, BCA do, there's other brands, this one is Natural Solutions, we do sell BCA and Jane or no. So if you have, um, but the thing is with weightless sunscreens, they usually have less SPF in them, because they're easier to make that way, to be weightless. Um, now 55 they're usually heavier but doesn't mean they have to be oily like this one's 55 from natural from professional solutions and it's not oily um and the hydrating ones um they're gonna be uh thicker you know but if you have oily if you have dry skin not oily skin then it's fine you know it's gonna be like a, you know they sell them as two-in-one like moisturizers too um I'm like there some makeup have sunscreen in it, which is a benefit. However, um, what I was um, learning is that I've read that recently actually that you don't want your sunscreen be two in one just because other ingredients like pigment or whatnot that are in makeup or skincare they kind of don't allow that sunscreen to be as effective as the real standalone sunscreen so we should always put real sunscreen on first and then add makeup or any uh, you know or if we add anything on top of our skin uh, but let me let me go back with that we should put sunscreen and then makeup but if you are putting skincare then put skincare first and then sunscreen because the sunscreen will prevent your skincare absorbing so it goes skincare sunscreen and then makeup um, because the, the other thing when skincare has sunscreen and that so it can prevent the also the penetration of those beneficial skincare ingredients effects sunscreen just like zinc oxide and all those like um ingredients that are in sunscreen say this one is in, and this one has octo relan uh, octo salate um different stuff so just something to keep in mind um the mineral like powder sunscreens they're not gonna have as much coverage but they're great as you know additional help because you cannot have too much sunscreen in my opinion because 90% of aging is from sun exposure. So definitely um, recommend having probably a couple times of couple types of sunscreens. You know, spray is great at the beach, going out, it's usually they're water resistant too. This one great as a chub and um, maybe weightless for every day in the morning. And if you have oily skin you can have 
like any type, it, sorry, if you have dry skin, you don't have to have weightless, you can have any type of sunscreen, you'll probably be fine. Of course, nobody likes that white foam on their face, so uh, experiment, you know, always like lighter sunscreens, but also that have at least 30 SPF, ideally 45. So yeah, uh, let me know your experience with sunscreens. Um, you know, I used to not like to wear it. My skin never really burns. I kind of get tan a little bit, even though I do look like I have fair skin. I kind of really don't. My husband has red skin because he's like Irish, you know, German. But I'm Lithuanian. I, my dad, when he um, gets suntan, used to get suntan. He's not alive anymore, but he would look like he was not white anymore, so we, I think I took after him and my mom used to get red, so I don't really, but that doesn't matter, you know, you dark, have dark skin, dark skin, you still definitely need to wear sunscreen because those UVB rays, UVA, they are not good for us to be exposed. An important thing to mention, how to avoid pilling with sunscreen is that you need to wait after you apply your skincare, you wait for it to dry and get absorbed into your skin because if you layer too much, even like not even sunscreen, anything, it's gonna be pilling those ingredients, gonna those proteins or whatever that they maybe they don't agree that well, if there's any silicones or something like that, occlusives, you know, um, they're not going to uh, mesh blend well together not all ingredients so um, that's one tip wait between each application and especially that can happen kind of with sunscreen because sunscreen can be a little thicker um, depending what other ingredients it has in it so yeah if you would like to book a facial or uh, massage therapy uh, makeup Brando Makeup, we offer that in Burlington, Vermont, and Brilliant Massage and Skin. Also, you can check out um, our on Instagram and YouTube, and um, my website is yulidabrilliant.com. And uh, recently released our own book, releasing our own uh, Boguccio Anti-Aging Natural Organic Serum. Serum, so check that out too. It's great to combat antioxidants, great to combat sun damage. Check it out and I'll see you next time. Bye.